Find the nth term of the sequence 3, 13, 27, 45, 67. This is a more difficult question. First of all, you need to make a big table like this with lots of spaces and things like this to do it. But a table like this should do. So here we have the term number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and here we have the actual terms of the sequence. Now we look for the differences. So from 3 to 13 is add 10. From 13 to 27 you add 14. From 27 to 45 you add 18. From 45 to 67 you add 22. And then you look at the differences. The differences we get plus 4 each time. Therefore this is a quadratic sequence and what you do you take half of the 4 which is 2 and therefore the sequence begins with 2n squared. So the nth term of the sequence is two, starts with 2n squared. We're going to have to find out what else we need to put in. So in the, down here we're now going to work out 2n squared. So when we've got 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 3 squared is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32, and 5 squared is 25 times 2 is 50. Now what we do is we work out what's known as the residue, and we work out the difference of the terms of the sequence, and ha this is how far we've got left, because this is what we need to add in. This is what we need to add in to the sequence. So we're going to do a subtraction here. So we're going to do 3 take away 2, which gives me 1. 13 take away 8, which gives me 5. 27 take away 18, which gives me 9. 45 take away 32, which gives me 13. And 67 take away 50 is 17. Now, if we look at the differences of this new sequence, we'll actually see that this is actually a linear sequence, because all we're doing is we're adding 4 to the previous term and we know how to find the nth term of a linear sequence. So adding 4, so the next bit is 4n, so the next bit we need to put in here is 4n. Now writing down 4n term here, so 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 4s are 16, and 4 5s are 20. And to go from 4 to 1, from 8 to 5, from 12 to 9, and from 16 to 13, from 20 to 17, all we need have to do is take away 3. And then all we need to do to this sequence here is take away 3. So this sequence, finding any term in the sequence, is 2n squared plus 4n minus 3. So it's quite a complicated process. It needs a lot of thought and careful on how you set out the table in order not to make a mistake.